Well, good morning. Uh, this week we're in the book of Genesis and uh, we're in chapter four today. And here we see uh, the first sibling rivalry that doesn't end well for anybody. Uh, and I don't know if you have any siblings. I have an older sister and a younger sister. and We would get in our spats back and forth. Um, but since my wife and I have two boys uh, in their teens, we figured it would be a good time for them to get involved with the Devo process. So they're gonna help us out as we read this story. And I wanna reassure you before we start, no teenagers or animals were harmed in the filming of this video. So let's start reading in chapter four. It picks up, the beginning of chapter four talks about uh, how Adam and Eve became pregnant and they had Cain, and then later Eve became pregnant and they had Eve, she had Abel. And we're gonna pick it up in verse two, where it says, now Abel kept flocks and Cain worked the soil. In the course of time, Cain brought some of the fruits of the soil as an offering to the Lord. And Abel also brought an offering, fat portions from some of the firstborn of his flock. The Lord looked with favor on Abel and his offering, but on Cain and his offering, he did not look with favor. So Cain was very angry and his face was downcast. Then the Lord said to Cain, why are you angry? Why is your face downcast? If you do what is right, will you not be accepted? But if you do not do what is right, sin is crouching at your door. It desires to have you, but you must rule over it. Now Cain said to his brother, Abel, let's go out to the field. While they were in the field, Cain attacked his brother Abel and killed him. Then the Lord said to Cain, where is your brother Abel? I don't know. Am I my brother's keeper? He replied. The Lord said, what have you done? Listen, your brother's blood cries out to be from the ground. Now you are under a curse and driven from the ground, which opened up its mouth to receive your brother's blood from your hand. When you work the ground, it will no longer yield its crops for you. You will be a restless wanderer on the earth. Cain said to the Lord, my punishment is more than I can bear. Today you are driving me from the land and I will be hidden from your presence. I will be a restless wanderer on the earth and whoever finds me will kill me. But the Lord said to him, not so. Anyone who kills Cain will suffer vengeance seven times over. Then the Lord put a mark on Cain, so that no one who found him would kill him. So Cain went out from the Lord's presence and lived in the land of Nod, east of Eden. So here we see sibling rivalry at its worst, absolute worst. I know that many of you have gotten into arguments and stuff and thought in your mind, oh man, I'd just like to... But how is that different from actually doing it? Because as God says to Cain right there, if you do not do what is right, sin is crouching at your door. So if we're already having that attitude of, I'm gonna get you, <laughs> sin is already entered in <laughs> and it's ready to pounce and take control. So what does that require from us? That requires not only a daily conversation with God so that we can get our heart and our minds set right first off the bat, but sometimes it's a minute by minute, depending on what situation we're in. You know, it doesn't have to be a rivalry with a, with a, a sibling. It could be a coworker, it could be another family member, it could be a neighbor. Um, God calls us to obedience first, and then he calls and tells us, to love those around us and love them like he loved us. And it's, it's funny to me because this is the first murder that's recorded in the Bible. Um, God could have enacted swift justice and said, you killed your brother Abel, so you're dead. I'm taking you out. Now he did punish Cain. There were consequences 
for Cain's actions. But when Cain cried out and said his punishment was too big to bear, and that anybody who found him was going to kill him, God showed mercy on him and allowed him to go off and live his life. And I think that's the way that God interjects in our lives every day. You know, in the New Testament, it says, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. And I don't know about you, but I am so thankful for that gift of forgiveness and the promise of eternal life that we have with him because of his son and the redemption that he brought through his payment for sin, for my sin on the cross. So let's remind ourselves of that every day in every situation that we enter. I have to remind myself of that all the time because I'm not perfect, believe it or not. I have emotions and I have feelings and I have anger that I have to deal with. But that's just the thing, we have to deal with it. We have to come to terms with it. We have to give it up to God. Otherwise, sin is crouching at our door, ready to pounce, ready to take over of our thoughts, of our actions. And so let's be filling our lives with scripture and with encouraging one another and lifting each other up for his name's sake. Have a great day.